The Lloyd Minster Home Hardware Building Center is under renovations and residents can expect to see a lot of changes to the store. As Brett Morton reports, crews are adding another 1,900 square feet, a big change from where they once began. The home hardware in Lloyd Minster started out on one acre of land and was only 9,000 square feet. The building continues to grow and expand and is now one of the biggest in Canada. We're a destination store and we're, we're growing with our community and we've had lots of customers always looking for newer and better and we're trying to always meet that demand with our garden centre expanding, with our yard expanding, our offerings and our building. So we always just keep trying to grow with our community and their expectations. One of the biggest areas slated for expansion is the aisles. These aisles are currently four feet. Richard says they're expanding these aisles another two to three feet to make it more convenient for customers. It was time to expand our customers. Uh, we're doing it for them mostly. 75 feet is being added to the south end, 25 feet in front, and the north end will be squared off. With all the construction going on, customer access is important. Very, very challenging for us to keep the store opened. Basically, three sides of the store are getting torn down, the south front and the and the north. So somewhere's in there, we got to move cash stations, make new entrances, keep the product, keep the sales going. The renovations are estimated to be close to $3.5 million. Construction should be complete by spring of 2016. Brett Morton, New Cap News. The weekend is here and it's time once again for Heather Clagus to let us know on what's going on in and around the border city. Here's this week's edition of What's Happening. Now is the time for you to get your tickets for a big German party that's taking place next Friday night. Oktoberfest returns to Lloydminster and you don't want to miss out on this party because it's been voted the best Oktoberfest in Alberta and Saskatchewan. They've got live music including the Emeralds, authentic German cuisine and a whole lot of fun. So hopefully you can check it out next Friday night. So do you have just a toy on your hands or is it a treasure? Well, in Vermillion, you've got a chance to meet the man who can tell you the difference. One of the stars of the TV show, Canadian Pickers, Sheldon, is going to be in Vermillion all day on Saturday. If you want to find out how he does what he does, how to find those treasures, he's hosting a special workshop starting at 1 o'clock. If you just want to hear a few stories behind the scenes of the TV show, he's doing a special presentation later that evening at 7 p.m. Tickets for that are only $30. If you want more information, just head online to thegoodlifeinstitute.ca. This weekend, we want you to time travel with some music that's going to bring back some great memories or maybe some not so great memories. We want you to win a copy of 25 hits of the 1990s. Do you remember the Spice Girls wannabe? How about Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby, even Achy Breaky Heart, yes, Billy Ray Cyrus, a whole bunch of hits on this CD. If you want a copy, it's so easy. All you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to tvcontest at newcap.ca. And we want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada Canada for sending us on this trip down memory lane. When it comes to fall, that usually means delicious fall foods and feasts. Well, on Sunday, how about this? A Swedish s'more. Just head for the Militon Hall. You're going to enjoy some delicious food on Sunday evening. Things get underway at 4 o'clock. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Clegis, and that's what's happening.